Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another video and this time it's a video um, that I haven't done before but let's see how it goes uh, I ordered the uh, component inspector and you can uh, see that in the previous video, uh, the post back video you can see me basically in packaging the whole thing um, and yeah as you'd expect I want it to be assembled so <clears throat> let's do that so basically here you've got the PCB and there are a few things that I'm a little bit worried about um, one of them is that I read on the internet that this chip isn't programmed now that shouldn't be a problem because I've got uh, programmers and, and I'm also worried that I can't find the inductor oh there is only one inductor yeah there's only one inductor so that shouldn't be a problem um, because there isn't a um, schematic or build guide anywhere on the internet to be found. So I'm going to have to look at uh, user-made photos for that. And let's actually grab them on my phone. Before we get started, this one, no, it's the component tester kit um, images and there are a lot of push buttons I think yeah there are a lot of push uh, push buttons and they're talking about something that has to do with the spacers on the internet um, so let's check that out this is uh, going to go right there I'm trying to match uh, the pictures that I find on the website. I think this is pretty matched. Oh, they put a capacitor upside down. All right. Okay. Ah, there you go. This is what I need. So let's rotate it. Will you rotate, please? No. All right, it won't rotate. Fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get the tiny components in first. Actually, let's put the board around in the good way first. Put all the screws in here. And the standoffs where the, they belong. Uh, I need these resistors. I think I'll start with the resistors. Um, they are labeled on the PCB. Um, but we do need a resistor tester in order to know what to put where so let's start with this one this is a 5.5k resistor um, i'm assuming that it's 5.6 over here
So let's put it there. Let's bend, bend the leads. Oh. And a split like that. All right now, the next loose one is 100 ohm. So 100 R, where you're at, over here, 100 ohms, pull it through, like that, alright, and are they, no they're not labeled. Let's measure this one. This is 2K. Now there are three 2K resistors. And there's one over here. Actually, let me know if you find these kinds of video interesting. Because there are a few more projects on websites like Banggood uh, that require soldering that I sometime uh, want to build. I just saw another 100 ohm resistor, so I'm still going to measure them. I'm not going to um, assume that they're all the same, because let's keep it fair, it's still China. And they're delivering reasonable products, but not every product is excellent. And especially the packaging solutions that they do sometimes. So this should also be 2K, and it is. And there's a 2K slot over here. Like that. Pull it through. Split it. And that's done. Now, on to the next row of resistors. It's 1K. So there's a 1K over here. There are a lot of resistors actually on this board. I think it has uh, something to do with uh, various resistor dividers. But, yeah. And another 1K. Yeah, it's I am. Um, came across a inductor for a, a DIY bug boost converter and then an inductor is needed but I did have some inductors uh, or I could make my own but I didn't have a um, device to uh, measure inductance since my EV block uh, multimeter isn't able to measure inductance which sucks and you can measure inductance and for that you needed a signal generator which I didn't had um, and at the time I didn't have access to one as well now I do now I own a cheap as signal generator too but it's something and So now I should be able to measure it using the signal generator, but now I'm building this device that should be able to measure it in one go. Now I thought that this um, contained a ZIF socket, but I was wrong. It just contains screw terminals that you can screw the component in and then it will um, measure the uh, Component. These are 100 case. So yeah, 100, right? Yeah, 100 R or K. I 
Ah, I see. That's the mistake that I made with the 100. That was a 100 and K. This is the 100. There you go. Now that should go in there. This is 100K, not 100R. Like that. This is also... Yeah. My millimeter is acting strange. Mm. So, also 100K. Ten K, ten K, one hundred K, one hundred K. Let's turn off my soldering iron for now. Uh, I ordered um, new soldering tips, and they were gone in uh, a single night of soldering. So. I got my money back. 45, 46k. But I, um, yeah, you know, the, the thing is with Banggood items and items that are not working as expected or as they are supposed to, it's nice that you get your money back, but you expected an item that is working and you anticipated on that item working and same with the soldering tip if you're really out of soldering tips and you bought a soldering tip of banggood you expect uh, it to work and then you solder one eye with it and the whole tip is eaten away yeah eh, you know you get the point i hope it's it's frustrating and so to 10 case and the resistor should be done so it's frustrating that when you buy something it uh, isn't working as expected or an as anticipated and with individual components such as resistors um, you've got that a lot, a lot less since yeah resistors just resist um, but with components as multimeters soldering tips uh, the anticipation is that it is better than what you currently have otherwise there's no reason at buying a little, um, soldering tip set and when they finally arrive it isn't better let's grab my no cutter there. Alright. So the soldering iron is up to temperature. And let's see if I can do the ASMR thingy as well. I'm going to focus the uh, camera. Focus. Yeah, it is going to focus. Out of focus. There you go. You know, this soldering tip is still soldering fine, but the, the solder that I'm putting on here right now isn't going to be on there for very long. So, you see, it, it, got some, it has got some troubles transferring the heat to the component that I'd like to solder. Alright. Let's solder it in. This is a good project for my um, lead uh, bin. 
then I cut off all right
All right, that is the final resistor. And they are all soldered. And as far as I can see, there is no unpopulated resistor solder mask. So now I'm going to clean the flux with a rather unusual method because my alcohol is out, it's empty. A glasses cleaner, it also contains isopropyl alcohol 99% ish. So, I'm hoping That this uh, cleans most of it. All right, so let's continue then. The resistors are soldered. Now I suppose let's um, we continue with the diodes and the resistor bank. I'm checking it out with the schematic or the picture. This is a resistor. Uh, I think it should be there. Underneath the IC. And the IC is socketed. Um, but I'm curious if it's still possible if it's, you know if it fits I'm get curious about that so let's put in the socket for the IC now I'm not sure if this is a resistor bank or a diode bank, I suppose a resistor bank. They are all Yeah, it's a um, 10k resistor bank and it should be in here like this. And I think that shouldn't be any problem. So let's solder in this resistor bank. Whoop. Like that. Oh, you couldn't see it. Sorry about that. Bad camera work and camera angle. So the resistor bank is now soldered in. One, two, three, four diodes. They are all the same. 
I suppose. So let's insert them. In there. And bend the leads. Like this. And then this. This is quite iffy to do, but uh, it needs to be done, otherwise it doesn't work, so... I've got the idea that this is for some kind of reverse polarity protection or something. And maybe for a um, measurement component. Uh. Alright, so all the diodes are in. Nice. Let's cut the excess leads. This is effective four at a time. All right. So diodes are connected. Um, one zero five. This is also a, also a capacitor. These are capacitors. Where do they need to go? Around here. Twenty two one zero two one zero five. So there is the one zero five is over here. Please go in. Pardon it. There you go. And the twenty twos. One zero two is this. It goes over here, but there should be another one zero two. As far as I can see, is that there isn't another 102. So that is a bit of a problem. That we're going to figure out later then. But there are a few other Oh, there you go. There are the 22s. The 105, 102, 
Ah, oh, there you go. 102. Not sure where that uh, went, but it's complete again. And 22. Another 22. Put the text the right way. Here goes the LED. Like that. Oh, let's zoom in again and get soldering. Nice. So it's going rather quick actually, uh, this process. <clears throat> Voice jumps, all part of the game. Cool. So, those are in as well. Oh, this one isn't. Look, this one is a little bit uh, wombie dumpy here. Uh, so, let's put it in a little bit better. Okay. So I think it's now time for the bigger components being the sockets. Uh, maybe we should do these two first. 914 goes here and nine fifteen goes where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, over here. Like that. All right, this way.
Nice. Alright, so now it is time for the socketing. So we've got the big one that's supposed to go here. Is there or is it anything on that side? Few more components in here: socket, header, trim pot. How many of these are there? Ah, so this one goes there. Hopefully it should stay and it didn't. So we're going to use the um, solder one pin and hope it will stay. Method here. like that so that's one or two pins down of the big socket yeah. that's one on the other one Nice. I can see that there is something very close to the that's better. All right, let's continue with the soldering of the going to focus are you now yes you are great headers and then after that well almost done is a is a big word but it goes rather quickly
All right. So socket soldered. Now it's time for the. Uh, what should we do next? I think we're doing doing the regulator. Like that. Oh, it popped out. Look good. It started to get uh, more and more attractive. So I'm just wondering. I think this goes here. Yeah, it does. And this. Five zero two. I think it goes like that. Let's check the images. Oh, this is confusion. No, we should put it like this. So these two. Nice. Cut off a little bit of the leads. These. Okay. So, oh, I missed out on the crystal. Should go right there. Or is there a second one? I don't think there is. I'm going to hold it with my finger whilst soldering. Focus, please. Yeah, there you go. These headers go here. And this is going to be a quick and painful one, I think. Actually, no, I didn't fail that at all. Now, the inductor goes here.
power jack. This is always the most fun to solder because you can really plump it full with solder. Like that. Oh, it's out of focus. Okay. Now the headers are for the screen, I suppose. So they did a little gift, because they're way too much. And let's solder the first pin of the female socket. This is for the screen. Okay. So now we're almost done. Um, let's do this, this uh, first. Two, three, four. Right way around. And they are. Oh shit. This one nice. So they all look okay. Um, let's add the programming header. Ah shit. So 
circles are still hot. Why is it? Oh. There you go. Right way around. Yes. That's very important, otherwise it uh, won't program and I think it will cause some components to fail. Okay, uh, this way, now it's um, capacitor time, this one needs to be bent, otherwise the chip won't fit, wouldn't fit, 470 micro file. Over here. Another four seventy over here. And another one over here. Now a ten again. Goes there. Another ten. And I suppose this is another ten, and it is. Goes over there. Let's cut these. Alright. Okay.
capacitors are in. Time for the switches. I don't think that they've got a uh, particular pinout. This one and this one. All right, so mostly they're all properly flipped. Let me solder. Oh, not that one. Shit. Final button goes here, and then after we've soldered the buttons, this soldering project is pretty much done on the screen. Um, we still need to do the screen. When the screen is done, we can put the chips in there and check if indeed there is no code uploaded. Because I do think that code is uploaded. Because not everybody has got such a programmer. So. There you go. Put the buttons on there. They click in place with a loud click. Look. And the final button cover. Nice. So, all the components are on the PCB. Now it's time for the screen to come. Oh yeah, they haven't really thought about this indeed. What are we going to make it to the headers or aren't we we are so shouldn't be a plum problem for me a problem 
Now oh, let's solder the screen in place at this very specific angle. Nice. So everything is soldered. Remove the screen. Put the uh, components in there. This is, I think this is an op amp. One, where is, oh, it's over here, and the Omega FL chip, can I push it, yes I can, is also inserted. Now this is pretty nice because uh, the component tester is now done and we can power it up. This is the yeah, second generator. Okay, so let's actually do that. And I think this is a uh, 12 volt. 12 volt input, but I also think that this should work at 9, and I've got a 9 volt adapter over here, let's check the polarity, the inner one is ground, or the inner one is the positive voltage. I think this is the 5 volt plug. I think that this one goes straight to the um, PDD. I find it curious that it doesn't bleep. Also, with the. Oh well. Alright, let's apply some power. So it's turned on, and I do think it needs a 12 volt adapter. But it's got the right polarity. So I'm back with a 12 volt adapter and yeah I 
think. that there isn't any software on there. So let's get programming. So in order to program, you need this device with a connector, of course. Insert the connector into your board and basically just plug this in. So it uh, turned out that no uh, firmware flash was needed. You just need to adjust this pot at the back and then it will work. Thanks. So, all right, let's test an inductor. Now, this is the inductor I wanted to test for a long time. So, I think this is inductance. Put it in, screw it in, oh. do it properly. Turn it on. And it's testing, I guess. Oh, there you go. You need to turn it on with all the buttons disabled, and then you need to click on one. Let's grab something else. Let's grab a capacitor. Hmm.
it's it's it, uh, yeah. It's acting a bit strange. To be honest. Because this is not for Pico Farad. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. This is for these two, and this. for these two I guess maybe this isn't a uh, inductor or maybe it's out of range Alright, so, curious product, still not sure what I'm thinking uh, of it, I think I, uh, I need to give it a try uh, a few more times. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I hope to see you next time, bye! Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time!